As a chef, I've decided to cook all my vegetables first at the beginning of the day. All on a steam cycle, very quick. And these are my vegetables for the next couple of days. I have a small restaurant and I open my chiller door, ready for the product to go in and stop my cycle. Now I open up and remove my lovely hot vegetables. Place them on the tray, cooked al dente, and they've kept their colour. The good thing about this is the greens remain greener and the reds remain redder. I can then do two things. I can choose to run the system off a manual time zone because I know how long it will take, or I can take the core probe, I can place it inside one portion of the food, and I can close the door and choose one of my cycles. Because this is a lighter item, I'm going to choose delicate chilling because the product doesn't need very cold air. I choose delicate chilling. I don't need to choose whether I use my core probe or not. The machine will decide. I just press start. It will decide within the next minute or two whether the core probe is inserted or not and then continue to chill the product down as quickly as possible, retaining the moisture so that I've got many days shelf life. Uh, we're going to take the pasta over to the sink. We're going to get rid of two thirds of the water. I'm going to put it back into a tray. I'm going to open my blast chiller, put my pasta inside when it's nice and hot. And then I'm going to choose delicate chilling, press start. Information, six minutes and it's been blast chilling on. Two degrees it started off, the air temperature. And here I've got some nice cold, or getting certainly much colder than if it was in a water bath. It's nice and cool now, right? No matter how our chefs cook, whether it's cuisine minute or bulk cooking for industry, we're always pre-preparing food. So probably 10 years ago when blast chilling really came into Australia, chefs would say, I cook fresh, I don't need a blast chiller. And yes, they cooked all this to today for today and threw it away or maybe kept it in the fridge for tomorrow, but certainly no more than two days. Now chefs realise that blast chilling is a fabulous way of saying, let's make for today and for tomorrow and for the next day. What Irinox does is that little bit extra, the ability for us to uh, keep the product at an exact uh, specification that you wanted it. So perfectly perfect for a long period of time. And then when you need it, reheat it and serve it. There's also, uh, earlier on today, we made some uh, beautiful muffins. Uh, earlier this morning, before when the chef just came in, we made these muffins, um, cooked them and then blast chilled them. And so we've also got those for coffee if we want them. My chef just said to me, Robert, why did you make those? Uh, we don't need them, we're doing dinner. Oh, sorry, chef. I'll put them in my holding cabinet, keep them till tomorrow, can I serve them tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. Normally you'd say, no, of course not, you've got to make new ones. But these are just fresh tomorrow as they are today because of this sort of technology. If this was an apple frozen in the normal way, it would be like a cricket ball or a cannonball. Uh, and I couldn't cut it. But because you can see, this is still at minus 30 degrees, but I can cut straight through. So I can choose how much of a portion I may want to use and put the rest back in the freezer. But because I'm wanting to do, wanting to do this quickly, I've had an order for it. I can take it, put it in my pan, quickly, uh, cook, quickly cook it. Add some wine or stock or whatever I wanted. For a rapid response to your catering equipment needs, call Sydney Commercial Kitchens on 1300 88 119 and talk to our trained sales specialists. Or for more information on this product, click the green button in the video or the link below for mobiles.